Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and this is about a free program to make in a box that I've never seen before. Uh, there's the, you don't have to type in the first, it's just makeabox.io forward slash pound sign. And you could probably just search it. Somebody sent it to me that was asking for some help on making a box. And it's pretty cool. I don't, I have not cut one out, but you just need to set it to inches. Set it to landscape, doesn't really matter. That's just how it's gonna lay it down. Uh, so I made it the width of uh, six inches, the height of two, and the depth of three. The thickness of the wood, i.e. thickness of material that's being cut. If you're gonna cut eighth inch plywood, 0.125. Your tab width set on 0.25. This was set on something different. I made the curve 0.008. I don't understand the margin or the padding or the stroke. But then you just go to action and then download the uh, PDF and then go back to Corel and import the PDF. I just called it make a box and it surprisingly worked good. I had it on curves, just put it wherever you want and everything seems to be correct. Uh, it's even hairlines. I would make it red hairline just so you know it'll cut. And I would do a little bit of testing. We can go to object and ungroup it. I would do some test cuts. Well, there's a little bit of a problem when I ungrouped it, ungrouped everything. And so you would have to go through here and if you're gonna rearrange it, uh, select everything without getting too much. You know, I don't think I've got it all there, but I'm gonna control G and you can see I left that top part. So that's the only kind of little bug I see. It would cut out right now, but you don't want to, and now I'm going to probably grab too much. Control G and move it out of the way. Yep, see now I'm grabbing those other lines. Uh, so it's a fine line between there that you have to grab. And I... I did it again. So let's zoom in here. Let's ungroup all that. Make sure everything's ungrouped. And it is. So make sure that line cuts right between them. And then you can go control G and you've got them grouped together. It's not treating the object as filled, but you can move it around. And then I would do some, definitely do some test cutting uh, like these, let's turn this at a 90 degree angle and see if this doesn't match up. This is something I do in box it uh, a little bit quicker and there's, and there's there's a little bit more of a advantage to it. What we can do is hit L and put it kind of even and that's not the correct piece to go in there. Yeah, it is. It just was even. So let's grab that node and put it right there. So I would definitely do some test cutting because I think this is going to be too loose. I'm going to set my nudge factor on 0 0.001 and I'm going to nudge this up a little bit. It's not treating the object as filled, so you have to grab it. And it's it could be a little bit off, or that could actually be the curve. I think it's gonna be off. Now let me change my nudge factor to 0 0.025 and nudge this out of the way. No, that's good, because you want your tabs to be a little thicker because it's this is your curve mark. So it might work rather well, because when the laser burns this away. So by testing, what I mean by doing that is take and make a duplicate of your box so you won't mess up, so control D, and then just move your test somewhere else. And I would, instead of cutting out those two pieces, I would just cut out part of them. And you can do that like this. Just set up two straight lines, doesn't have to be straight. Fill that in, fill that in. Smart fill tool does not add to the curve. And then you could test 
those two pieces. Let's select them both and left click, no fill, right click, hairline. Take those somewhere in your laser on a test piece of wood and, and also here's a little lesson. A while ago, all these pieces were broke apart. Remember? So what you could do is use your smart fill tool and fill that in. Not only is it going to put them all together, it's going to group them all. So now that's a complete piece. And what's nice about it, now you can grab just anywhere in the center where this doesn't work because there's so many pieces. So you could just do that. But I would still test your pieces, you know, get them up in the a waste part of the corner and test those out and see if they fit. And if they fit, there's a free program for you. Let's go back to the program just so you can see it's make a box. Uh, pretty easy. I hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.